what I'm going to show you guys is say you have a sample in Ableton and you want to warp it to beat. Say the sample is not on time. So I'm going to show you guys how to make it sync up with the beat and how to add warp markers by beat. I just loaded this in simpler. And it's a long sample. Let's put a drum loop from Drums and Knock Volume 9. Yeah, let's just get this loop. This isn't going to be on time with the beat. See, it's not on time when I play the sample. The way to get it on time... What you have to do is you have to take the end marker and make a perfect loop out of it. It's still not going to be on time when I play it. But over here, you can warp it as four bars. So if I click warp as four bars, now it's going to be on time. Yeah, so now it's on time. And then you can actually go up. Beats mode doesn't sound good with this one, so let's do complex. And then you can go down. Whatever key you play the sample on, it's going to stay the same time. And then if you want to slice it, sometimes you can slice by transient, but you can pick different slice modes. So if you slice by beat, you can select the division of your chops. Another thing you can do is you can slice by region. You can just select how many slices you want and it'll evenly space it out based on the length of the whole loop. The key here is just make sure you select the actual loop and click warp as four bars. Decap. <laughs> 